This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports Texas had its second minor earthquake last week. The U.S. Geological Survey website shows that the 3.4 magnitude quake happened at 12.47 p.m. Friday and was centered 15 miles north of Snyder in West Texas. The area is 68 miles southeast of Lubbock. The Scurry County Sheriff's Office said there were no immediate reports of injury or damage. On Wednesday, the USGS reported a 2.7 magnitude earthquake about 29 miles southwest of Dallas. It was the second quake in the Snyder area in less than a month. On November the 24th, a 3.0 magnitude quake was centered 17 miles north-northeast of Snyder. A rare South Texas earthquake with a 4.8 magnitude was recorded October the 20th, about 37 miles northwest of Beeville. WFAA.com reports a motorcycle accident near downtown Dallas. Early Sunday morning killed an off-duty police officer from the Dallas area. Dallas Police Spokesman Sergeant Warren Mitchell said the wreck happened around 1 a.m. on a ramp from Cesar Chavez Boulevard to the eastbound lane of Interstate 30. Michael said the motorcycle driver, identified as 35-year-old Matthew Garcia of Kaufman, failed to negotiate a curve and was ejected from the bike. He fell over a railing some 50 feet to the highway below. The officer's wife, following in a car, witnessed the crash and called 911. Garcia was rushed to nearby Baylor University Medical Center where he was pronounced dead about 30 minutes later. According to KHOU.com, J.R. Ewing has returned to Dallas with Larry Hagman reprising his role as the conniving Texas oil man. Filming is underway at locations all over the city for TNT's new television series, Dallas, which will also see the return of Patrick Duffy as J.R.'s brother, Bobby, and Linda Gray as J.R.'s ex-wife, Sue Ellen, along with a new generation of Ewings. And, of course, the spotlight also returns to the city itself with its distinctive skyline rising from the prairie. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.